Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Mariam Bukhar, known as Ahan Islam, and uh, I am a poet from Nigeria. Um, I'm so honored and excited to be on this stage and meeting great women and all the young people that are doing great work. My uh, journey as a poet started when two of my aunts got abused, and that was when I found my Nala. And I say I found my Nala because um, I see that to be me finding my voice. And so when I started looking at it from a pan-African perspective, it made me um, admit some hard facts. And that made me say to an old man, I am not good enough. The cold has settled in, and there is no warmth in my continent. He gazed at me and remarked, I am a citizen of every country. Every country? Yes, every country. Birthed by a mother so divine, she is a mother with no borders, Mama Africa, and she has 55 children, and in each are warriors who are legends. Some never crossed over, and though some are gone, their names are leftovers, but like that food in the morning that fills you up, yet reminds you of the lingers of the night, manifestations of victory, names on walls that time fears, because when it runs out, they still remain. They ignited Africa. They were lions, and you, my darling, are a cub. He said, dear great-granddaughter of a mother so flaming, a continent with indelible resources, but of it all, you are its greatest assets. Your scheme, proposition, and ideas, if you dare, will resuscitate the cold spirit of grace and glory for the black continent. You will create a prosperous African community whose sustainable development will be you driven. Yes, you, because you are Africa's biggest capital, greatest asset. You see, the color of your skin doesn't mean the color of your brain. It is but a great lining to conserve the light that you possess. Your passion is excellence unrefined. It's gold unmined. It's diamond unexploded. Dismay not and bring it raw. That is the only way to your inner unshrinking lion heart. Dear blazing, glistening, lustrous, dazzling child of Africa, you are a tune from your grandfather's flute. You are the sweat from your mother's labor. You are a representation of love, a pledge of loyalty that sprung of tongues and body languages. You are a sacred covenant, forever binding ties of two familiar strangers, land, borders, and boundaries. You are the supernatural phenomenon they spoke of beating their chest. You are the cub of a lion. You're a gift. You are Nala. So if you ever feel like you, your ideas are not good enough, remember all you have to do is roar when the cold spirit settles in on your mother, our mother, Mama Africa. Remember, within you is enough fire to ignite. Africa. Thank you.